Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel we'll learn how to have multiple build plates full of parts in a single project file in Prusa Slicer. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. This episode of the BV3D channel is brought to you in part by these awesome channel members. Hi, welcome back. Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to see how Prusa Slicer lets you have multiple build plates full of parts in a single project file. When using the Bamboo Studio Slicer with the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon 3D printer, it allows me to have multiple build plates full of parts. Now this is super handy for managing a project that has more parts than will fit on one plate. And it turns out Prusa Slicer has a similar feature. Before I knew about Prusa Slicer being able to do this, I would load up a plate and save it as a project file and then slice it and export to G-Code. And then I'd make a new project to clear the plate and repeat that process until I had all the parts sliced and a pile of G-Code files ready to print. But if I noticed a problem with a part when I started printing, like maybe I forgot to add supports or the part's orientation wasn't quite what I intended, I'd have to open up the project files until I found the one that I wanted to change. Then I could make my adjustments and slice it and print it again. Well, when I tweeted about that cool feature of the Bamboo Studio Slicer, I got a response from Aaron F. letting me know that's a feature inherited from Prusa Slicer, which is super cool because I did not know Prusa Slicer could do that. It turns out the secret to doing this is to dump a bunch of parts into Prusa Slicer and put your faith in its auto-arrange feature. Here's an example. I have a folder full of STL files. I have 18 Benchies, 25 Calicats, and 9 of Luby 3D's Aria Dragon. I'll select all those and drag them into Prusa Slicer. Now, Prusa Slicer's default setting is to center each newly added model on the build plate, so what you're looking at is all these models all centered in one spot. So right up here is the icon for auto arrange. I'll give that a click. And after a couple of seconds, Prusa Slicer has arranged and grouped things together in such a way that each group is one build plate's worth of parts. And it's also got a warning that there are objects outside the print area, but that's okay, watch. I'll click Slice now, and only the models that are within the print area get sliced. See? One build plate full of models ready to be exported to G-Code. Okay, so that's one build plate's worth of files. Where are the other two that we saw a moment ago? Well, they're still here in the project, we just have to move them into place. Like this. I'll switch back to the editor view, do a select all, and then slide the entire collection left until the second plate of parts is lined up on the build plate and all the models turn green. Then I'll click slice now again and the second plate of models is sliced and ready to export to G-Code. Let's do the third set of them. Back to the editor view, select all, move over, and slice. And that's the third plate of models ready to export to G-Code. Now that we're done with that, we should save this project file so we can get back into it later if we need to. That can take a little bit of time depending on how complex the project is. But now that it's saved, we can close it and then open it again and everything is right where it was when we saved it. If you need to make changes, like maybe you want one of the models to have less infill or it needs supports or whatever, you can change that and save the project. Later, if you need to re-slice and print a particular plate, just select all and move the entire collection until the parts that you want to print are on the plate. Then slice, export to G-Code, and print. I think the way that Bamboo Studio handles this by actually showing separate build plates and highlighting the one you're working on is a better implementation. And when Bamboo Lab releases the source code for the Bamboo Studio Slicer, which is supposed to happen when they start shipping printers in July 2022, I would love to see Prusa's developers take that and roll out a similar implementation here in Prusa Slicer. Well, 3D printing prints out's about all the time we have for this episode. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. 
Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great, and if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.